Hello, my name is Kevin Peters with Expo, and today I'll be going over updating the software on the Max platform. So the first thing we need to do is download the latest software version. So I'm going to navigate over to my browser here over to Expo.com. So www.expo.com. You'll need to create a support account. So when you uh, uh, first try to download something, it might prompt you to for the username and password, or you can uh, create a, a support account. So it is uh, instant to register for uh, for expo.com support. Uh, just put in your uh, your email address. You'll get a confirmation email, and then you'll confirm it, and then you can log in after that. And so essentially, uh, I'm already logged into mine. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the support uh, icon here, and then I will scroll down over to download software. So that's what I'm doing here, downloading the software. And then this will take us to the area where we can download for our different applications. So you can see the FTB series, you know, some of our different uh, units that are out there, even the legacy stuff's in here, as well as PC software. And so I'm gonna go ahead and select handheld units for the Max platform. And then you'll see different handheld units that are in here. And so I today have a Max 700C series. So the procedure I'm using is the same for the 700B, the 700C, you know, as well as any of the other Max platforms here. So the, the 900 series, five, if, uh, 5000 series and the, the FIP. So in this particular one, I'm going to download uh, for the Max 700C. So that's what I have here. And you'll see the versions that, that uh, the latest version here. There's also the previous versions here. If you wanted to, for some reason, go back to a previous load because maybe there was an interface change or whatnot. But I do recommend staying on the latest load uh, because there are some enhancements, but there are also some fixes, right? And so this particular one came out December 2020. So I go ahead and go to the download area. And then I can download this, this, uh, this, um, this version here. You see it comes as an EXE. So I'll just save this somewhere on your hard drive. If you want to know what was uh, added or changed, especially over the last couple of revisions, uh, you can open the README file and it'll tell you what changes were, uh, were done or performed. So once you download, hit this download, you know, you'll save it somewhere onto your hard drive. Uh, in this case here, I'll just save it to, uh, uh, to my downloads folder for now. And then of course it'll download. And so you'll see the status down there in the bottom left. So once you have that downloaded, essentially what you'll do is you will open up that file and then you will extract it to either your computer to save it for future use or to a USB thumb drive. And so it's recommended that you that you extract it to a newly formatted USB thumb drive into the root drive. So, and so um, when we initiate the upgrade, it can look in the root drive and find it. And so we'll go ahead and do that now. So once the file is successfully downloaded, we can go ahead and extract it. So I have already have a copy on my computer here. So here is the, uh, the actual file itself. So you can see the name of it, it's a .exe. And so it's, a, it's an executable uh, WinZip file. So if I double click on it, it'll open up uh, uh, the extraction software. And so in this particular case, it is, uh, it is uh, uh, the self extractor from WinZip. And then you'll see that it kind of, it tells you that, uh, you know, to unzip it to a folder. And so in this case here, what, I'll, what I do is I hit browse and then I'll make it point to one of my USB hard drives. And so I can have it point to this one USB hard drive and extract it. And if I extracted it, it's going to extract basically into a folder. Um, so it's going to be in like a, a, a folder itself. We usually advise that you take it out of that folder and put it in the, put the bin file that's in it directly into the root drive. I'm not going to do that in this example here because there are cases where you're in the field, you need to update the unit, you have a USB stick, but there's valuable data on there and you're not going to format it. And so in, in cases like that, you know, you know, we see that quite a bit. And so if I were to transition back over to um, my platform here, so I've, I've taken the software, I've extracted it onto a USB disk uh, straight from the EXE. And then from there, I need to update the software. But to give you an idea of what it looks like in the USB stick, if I go over here to the file manager and open it up, uh, I can browse up here. So I can hit this button here to browse up. And so I'll browse up to removable disk and I'll double click removable disk. And then you'll see that I have the Max Optical SI 2.30, you know, uh, which is this latest version. And then here's this bin file. Ideally, you'd want this bin file here in the root drive uh, of, of the of the removable drive. But in this case, I'm gonna leave it in a subfolder just to show you what the process is for that as well. Um, and so 
back in the max, we've extracted our bin file that we need to reimage the, the unit with. And so what I'll do here is I'll go to configuration. And then from configuration, I will go to software updates. So where it says software updates right here. If you want to check the version you're on, you can also look here as well. And so this is the version I'm on right now. So right now I'm on 2.29. And then you can see the different versions of software here. So uh, if I hit check for updates, I'll get an error saying file not found because I did not put that bin file in the root drive of the, of the, uh, uh, of the USB stick. So in this case, I can browse to the removable drive and then I go to the folder that I want. In this case, it's, it's the max uh, 2.30. I hit OK. And then from here, it'll search that subfolder. And if it finds an update, then we get this image right here. And then now you see where it says system image found. And so we're going from 2.29 to 2.3. We can go ahead and hit yes. And of course you get the terms and conditions. So read through that and then go to accept. And then from here we start extracting data. And so now it's gonna start extracting data off of that bin file to prepare for the, uh, uh, for the upgrade. So we'll go ahead and allow the uh, data to extract. So this will take uh, about a minute or two. Uh, to extract the data and prepare for the, uh, for the software update. It is very important to note that uh, uh, you really need to make sure that you have your unit on AC power. You do not want to be doing an upgrade like this on battery parks. If you lose uh, power and the unit turns off, this could completely break your machine because it's in the middle of updating the software. I uh, see so you want to make sure that it does have power. If power is not plugged in, you will get uh, this warning indication. Uh, that you need, uh, that is recommended that, that you plug in the, uh, the AC power supply. Once the file is extracted, you'll see completed, and then we'll start installing portions of the software. So right now we're on the kernel, and uh, after this is done, the unit will restart a few times. You see that little notation there, and then complete the update. So we'll, we'll go ahead and let it do that. So that was pretty quick. So you saw it rebooting, and then it does a shutdown. So right now the unit's reinstalling. So I took some images of what it looks like. And so this is what it looks like when it's, uh, when it's installing the software. So you'll see, you know, several different dialog uh, and pieces of information fly by, uh, but we do try to keep you informed the entire process. And now the unit's rebooting and uh, installing some updates. So, you, you know, again, you'll be continually kept up to speed on exactly what it's doing. And as the message says there, you know, after, uh, after the installation, the unit might restart a few times. So now that the installation is finished and we've rebooted, uh, we need to set up the, uh, the, um, the new uh, load here for the uh, Max platform. So the first thing you'll do is you'll see the, uh, uh, the terms and conditions here. So read through that and accept it. Uh, and after that, you will see uh, some uh, safety uh, instructions uh, that you've read the safety instructions and understand those. So read and, and, uh, and accept those, uh, followed by setting your... Uh, basically your time zone and your units, uh, you know, based on, you know, your country. And so after you've done that, um, then you will select your time zone and the date and time. So this is very important. Uh, that way we can timestamp all of our tests appropriately. So once the installation is complete, you will be back at the, uh, the Max platform home screen. So you might see some new icons because over the years we've added uh, some enhancements and functionalities. So to verify that you're on the load that we just uh, up upgraded to, which was 2.30, we can go back into configuration here and then go into software updates uh, as we did before. And then from software updates, we can check to see our system image load. And so this is a uh, system image 2.30. And of course it updated everything else uh, along the way. And uh, you know, at this point here, uh, we're basically updated. And uh, that's how to update the uh, Max platform software. Uh, using a USB uh, drive and downloading it from the expo.com site. Again, my name is Kevin Peeries. Thank you very much.